subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place so here we will start with the open loop control of boost converter as you could see that this is the circuit diagram of a boost converter it consists of a v in voltage the v out voltage and uh, this is the inductor and this is the capacitor so when this uh, switch is on uh, current will flow in this path as you know and when this switch is off the current will flow in this path okay so this is uh, as usual what is given in uh, standard uh, uh, literature so uh, please be notified that in my video the symbols can change okay so uh, please be aware of that so moving on to the uh, next part that we have uh, targeted this specification that uh, the our input voltage will be 15 volt output voltage will be 35 volt l and c i have uh, uh, intentionally kept blank uh, i will explain it in the next slide and the r load is 10 ohm the switching frequency that i have used is 25 kilohertz and the duty cycle is 0.6 so moving on is that what i what i have why i have kept the l and c blank now as you know that the output voltage of the boost converter it depends on uh, this way there here vg is the input and d is the duty ratio so if you you, you uh, increase this duty ratio your v output will be more this come at from uh, volt second balance of the inductor okay so uh, from the current ripple we can calculate the value of l okay so the current ripple from the current ripple and this is the duty cycle so this is the uh, formula you can use the upper formula also okay and you can calculate the value of l okay similarly you can calculate the value of c from the voltage ripple so from the voltage ripple you can calculate the value of c so that is why i have kept the uh, uh, value of l and c blank so from your required specification you can uh, be getting that value of l and c and then you can put it in your uh, uh, simulation right so we will now directly go to matlab and uh, see how it is simulated so in uh, as discussed earlier so whatever values we have got we have made a, a file over here that v input is 15 volt r is 100 so i have calculated the l it is coming 45 milli henry c i have taken as 150 microfarad and uh, the frequency it is uh, 25 kilohertz so in this way i have calculated and replaced the same in my program uh, that is over here okay the same thing i have done the, the voltage uh, inductor the switch igbt switch diode capacitor this one is for measuring the current nothing much and this is the load and this is for output voltage and this one is for input voltage for your ready reference i can show you that you will get the symbols from here you go to the simulating library then you find out where, where is simscape simscape okay and then in simscape you go to power systems and then to specialized technology and in specialized technology you will get most of the things uh, here you will get uh, the uh, voltage source dc voltage source i have used over here and uh, then from here uh, the other elements you will get it from here you can use this one this uh, rlc branch okay and you can easily uh, customize it according to your choice you can put it r or you can put it l or whatever you like it will become that one okay and other things so other things like uh, diode and uh, igbt will get it in power electronics in power electronics you will be getting you see that this one is the diode i have used and uh, this one is the igbt igbt with a diode configuration this one i have used over here okay this two igbt and diode these two I have used 
capacitor inductor and other values so, uh, they are very common and i have used this rlc branch and i have customized it okay and values i have put whatever is there whatever given in the specification uh, that is here whatever is there i have given the specification okay now we will see that uh, we are getting the same values or not so i will delete this one since and this one is the get pulse generator so you see the pulse generator i have used what i have used the amplitude is one the time period is one by ts you can see over here that i have used the ts of 25 kilohertz so this is the frequency so the time period the will be one by frequency the uh, pulse width is 60 percent why because 60 percent because i have used a duty cycle of 0 0.6 so it is 60 percent okay so i will be connecting this one over here to here and uh, this one is the input voltage so i will keep a track of input voltage and this one is the output voltage so i will keep a track of output voltage okay and then i will simulate this one and let us see what happens so it is com compilation is over it is running the program is running okay let us wait for some time and then we will see that what happens i think this one will is will do we will wait two seconds okay uh, so let us see what happens over here so you see that the input voltage is 15 volt okay the input voltage is 15 volt and the output the output is uh, you could see that we have targeted 35 volt it is coming as 30 uh, little less than 37 volt so more on uh, less it is near to 35 volt so you can do it 35 volt by more uh, correct calculation of l and c and other and the duty cycle also okay so this is uh, the open loop uh, control of uh, boost chopper in the next session we will see the closed loop control of the boost chopper where i will show you how we make this circuit only to a closed loop circuit okay so let us move on to the next session So in closed loop control, what we need to know, we need to know the transfer function of the boost chopper. So this is the transfer function of the boost chopper. Uh, this is V output by V input. Uh, the transfer function would look like this. And this is V output by the duty cycle. The transfer function would look like this, where the uh, uh, symbols have their usual meaning. That this is the load resistance. This is the inductor. This one is the capacitor and D uh over here refers to the duty ratio okay you can use the upper one also or the lower one also so i have in this specific example i have used the lower one and i will show you how i have used this one okay so let us move on to matlab so in matlab i have written a program so that i could find out the uh, numerator and denominator of the closed loop function that uh, i have shown over here that is this one is the numerator and this one is the denominator okay this then i have uh, put that numerator and denominator over here and the kpki value okay the so pit controller i have put over here this is as you a usual pi uh, pi controller i have not used the d controller over here uh, so uh, this one is the uh, step function where I have giving the step function at 0 0.001 second with a step, step value of 1 okay and pi value uh, pi value I have calculated and uh, the, my pi value have came like this that uh, the kp value is 0 0.005 and ki value is 0 0.087 I have taken this to uh, as my kp ki value okay so the kpki value uh been calculated as usually we calculate kp and ki values uh, from literature right so uh, let us see that if this kp and ki values works or not 
you see i put here kp and ki also that means the same values will come over here okay so let us run this program and let us see so in this uh, program that uh, this one is the transfer function of the boost converter that is open loop boost converter is represented by this one so if i put the kpki value oh, i need to stabilize my voltage so let us see that uh, what happens to the voltage the voltage is getting stabilized or it is not getting stabilized or what is happening to this part so let us check that one so it is already been compiled and it is running for nearly 4 seconds okay so i think this part is okay that uh, let us see the result so you see that i have uh, put that uh, the input is 1 that means our reference is 1 and the output is also getting to 1 okay uh, but here are some oscillation you can easily tune this part over here you just uh, click on this pi value and uh, okay pi uh, controller and here you press to tune that part okay uh, so you see that this is the block response and this is the tuned response so you see that this is the parameters that is uh, given over here so if you want to increase this one that if you want to make this response fast you can easily put uh, drag this one so that your response is fast okay but here the uh we form is quite uh, not getting stable uh, okay so we have to op optimize this one and here you can uh, put this one also so that your system is more robust okay and then you can check that whatever uh, values you are getting over here over from it here that uh, what you can put other values also to get it tuned So I have selected that P values as 0.005 and I values as 0.087. Okay, you can put other other values also. You you can tune it according to your wish. Okay, uh, so uh, whatever uh, values I am getting over here, I have to run it once more. You can check for other values also. Okay, so. the system is uh, more or less okay and uh, for more tuning you have to go for some iterative method okay well, so let us check yes the system is all all right that when i give a give a reference of 1 the value is matching with 1 with an initial oscillations okay to so remove this initial oscillations you tune it according to yourself okay now we will see that what we can do in the uh, closed loop part of the uh, pi uh, boost converter so whatever we have analysis we have done in previous step we will see that if it works on actual boost converter or not so for that one what we will do we have used this pi so we will just make a replica of this one okay so and we will move to our open loop model so this one is our open loop model and this one is cpi controller with which we have tested okay and then we will just make a pi and replace this gate pulse with this p with the gate pulse uh, issued by this uh, closed loop system so we have uh, taken a reference voltage of 40 volt okay and uh, the it will be subtracted from the output voltage that this one is the output voltage and this one is the output voltage coming from the voltage so gain and other things can be adjusted if we if you use the voltage sensor but here since voltage sensor we are not using so gain adjustment is not uh, of so much importance mm, okay so we will replace this one with this uh, pi so this is my pi and uh, this pi will give up out some uh, uh, duty ratio so that duty ratio has to be compared with a 
repeating sequence so i have taken a repeating sequence of 0 to 1 by ts uh, so this ts is 25 kilohertz as we have uh, discussed earlier so and the output will be from 0 to 2.5 so we will be comparing it with this uh, pi and this one is our get pulse so we will be replacing it with the open loop get pulse that is from here okay just we'll just keep it aside and uh, put this one out to here okay and then we will see that if it is working well or not so this one i am putting to the reference signal that uh, and uh, this one we are putting to the output signal as you could uh, see that this output signal this signal uh, this signal is actually the output signal of the boost converter okay output signal of the boost converter okay, so whatever uh, values we will get over here the upper one will be the input voltage and the lower one will be the uh, output voltage or upper one will be the reference voltage or and the lower one will be the uh, voltage that we are getting okay and uh, so let us just see that if it is working well or not so i will run it and uh, wait uh, for some time so it is running uh, okay so i think this will do uh, for three seconds it has run for three seconds more than three seconds so uh, let us just check that it is working well or not so you see that uh, our reference voltage is what our reference voltage is 40 volt and uh, what we are getting is a output voltage of 40 volt mm. this ripples this ripples that you can, are seeing it can be easily adjusted by more accurate calculation of the c and l okay and uh, more uh, uh, pure tuning of this pi which i have shown so let us check with some other values we will check with uh, let us say uh, 60 volts we will check with 60 volt and then we will see that it is working well or not okay so we'll just see this one once okay mm. so let us just run it mm. so we have checked with uh, well initially the op in the open loop case it was uh, giving out 37 volt in the closed loop case we have checked for 40 volt and now we are testing with 60 volt that means 15 volt to 60 volts right so let us check if it is uh, working well with 60 volts or not okay so you see that this is the 60 volt reference and this one is the 60 volt so if we go for uh, more so it will be uh, getting uh, saturated in 60 volts on only okay so uh, uh, that means our pi controller is working well okay and uh, for more fine tuning you can do it over here that you can go to, uh, to this uh, pi and then you can fine tune this one using this fine tuner okay uh, from here you will get uh, the uh, tuning uh, authority to as, as i have shown initially that uh, uh, from here that if you want to tune this one you can go over here and then you can tune it over here by dragging this too okay so you can get it over here so it depends on the user that what you want to do with uh, this one Okay, if you uh, like this video, do share with your friends and uh, do comment uh, about what you require and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay, uh, thank you. We will meet again in next session. Comment below about how you like this video. Check out the links in the description box about more such videos. Do click the like button if you like the video. 
If you are new to this channel, subscribe TikToks and don't forget to hit the bell icon.